In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Spark. To get there, it's spark.adobe.com. So that'll take you to the home page here. Um, so basically, Adobe Spark is a scrolling presentation. Rather than slide by slide, you can just scroll down and you can see the information on the different slides in a sense. So to give you an example of what that actually looks like, I'm going to click on Features, scroll down, and we'll go to the gallery. So the gallery is right here. So if I click on the gallery, this is the different examples of what Adobe Spark is. Um, so here's a page example, here's a video one, and here's a post. So a post is just a single announcement, one picture. Uh, here's a video, you just attach a video to a file. And then your page, which is what the tutorial is going to be about. So I'm going to click on this, show you this example. And this is where you can add pictures in the background and put text over top. So right now, you're in your presentation. So I'm scrolling down. And you can see a picture comes up, more text comes up, more information comes up. You have text over the pictures, more text in between, another picture appears, and so on. Uh, so you get the idea of what it looks like. It's a new way of presenting information. So I'm going to click on Close here and I'll click login. So I'll show you how to create some of this. So it's nice that it connects right to Google, so I'm going to click on Google, click on my name, and then it'll take me to my account without having to put too much information in. So here are your Adobe Spark files that you've already created. I'm going to start one from uh, scratch, so I'm going to click on this blue plus up at the top here, and then those three options up here. I'm going to click on page, and then here this is the editing um, portion of the Adobe Spark. So we have settings at the top, preview if you want to preview it and share it once you're done, and then uh, themes here as well if you wanted to change um, what the text looks like. Um, preview is pretty self-explanatory, it takes out of the preview mode, and then in your settings there's not much there, but and then share, um, you'll have to pick a category and that's where you get the link eventually. So I'm going to add the photo first, and we can upload photos, we can find photos, we can get it from Google Photos or Dropbox. So I'm going to just click on Find, and we'll just do Food, and maybe soft pretzels in the background. So then the, the pretzels go into the background, and you can start typing. So uh, Food Presentation. So then naturally, as I'm editing, I scroll down. So now this little plus allows me to add the next thing that I want. So maybe I wanted to add some text, so some information about a pretzel. And then I add a plus, and maybe I wanted to add another photo, so maybe green peppers. So now I have green peppers. I have a couple of different options here. So I'm going to click on Fit Screen so that it takes up the whole screen. I can add a caption here, green peppers. And now we have that going. So you can see that it starts out with the soft pretzels, little text here, uh, my green peppers. So then I'm going to keep on adding stuff. So I just have to keep clicking this plus, and it adds more stuff. So text we went over, photos went over, a button, um, button text. So this actually takes you to an external website. So you could go to Google, and then people would be able to click on that button if you wanted to add that. A video, same thing, YouTube video, or Spark video, or Vimeo. And then you have your photo grid option. So I can click on multiple pictures. And now I get sort of a collage of different pictures. So I'll click Save. So there's, I can add a little caption there. I'll click Plus. And then the last one is a Glide Show. So Glide Show, you have. Um, one picture in the background, and this is where I think it is one of the neatest parts of Adobe Spark, and where it is the most unique. So I'm going to click Save there. So this is where you can put the text over the picture. So this is where we can put a photo, text, button, video, like in um, on top of the picture. So maybe that, and then we'll add some text, blah, 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 and so on. Alright, so here's my presentation. So I have this, I have some text there, green peppers, that comes up, a little collage of pictures, and then my last glide show. So the glide show, you can see that this comes up on top of the picture. So 
Once you're done, you would click on share, click a pa uh, category here, and create the link. And then you would have a link to this presentation right here. So I'm going to copy this. I'll open up a new tab. I'll paste it in there. And then that's what you would turn into your teacher or to somebody else, and they would be able to see your presentation.